I've been reading this book, Eager, The Surprising History of Beavers and Why They Matter by Ben Goldfarb. And it is fascinating. It blew my mind. I've always liked beavers and was very excited when my dad and mom had them on their land when I was in my 20s, but I didn't realize how much they have shaped American and European history. Ben Goldfarb, in a very fun and approachable way, shows us how Europeans came in and their greed for beaver pelts completely reshaped the land, the economy, and pretty much everything that came after. First, the Russians came to California before any of the other Europeans even thought about it, and they cleared out the beavers so completely that later residents of the area thought that they weren't even native. And of course, they traumatized Native Americans by forcing them to catch and kill the beavers as well. Then when the other Europeans came in on the other side, they wiped out the beavers as completely as they could, including killing millions of them. So all the dry areas in the middle of the U.S., for example, didn't look like that several hundred years ago. The beavers would have made them much wetter and much more full of plants and abundance of nature. I learned that beavers are an overlooked species that are ecosystem engineers who can actually help fix a lot of the problems that humans have caused. So if you're worried about drought, if you're worried about floods, if you're worried about heat, if you're worried about cold, if you're worried about things drying out and not having enough green space, then beavers can help with all of that. Beaver dams create nice areas of calm water and squishy land around it that acts as a sponge and absorbs water. So if there's too much, it's safely locked in there. If there's not enough, there's still plenty of water for things to grow. I've barely scratched the surface, but the book also goes into some details about the current situation and how beavers are being restored to America and Europe and how they can further be restored and includes some of the ways that people are encouraging beavers back and are encouraging people to understand how it works. So I definitely recommend this book. I also want to thank my son, who's a university student studying geography and the environment, who recommended this book to me. 